Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Fanland Tutorials. In today's video, we'll be talking about an economic concept called the Edgeworth Box Diagram. And as I have written here, it's also called the Edgeworth Bowley Box. Now, first of all, let us understand why we need an Edgeworth Box. So, uh, up, until what we up until now, what we have studied is, we know how an indifference curve works, right? So, we have our axis. So, we have, let's say, we have one uh, commodity on one axis. Let's say, if we want to take the x commodity on the x axis and the y commodity on the y axis. So, we have two commodities on each of the two axis, the horizontal and the vertical axis. And we consider this point, the origin, to be representing zero amount of commodity X and zero amount of commodity Y. Now, what an indifference curve essentially does is that it represents different commodity bundles. So, let's say an individual wishes to consume this much amount of commodity X. So, it consumes this much amount of commodity X and it consumes this much amount of commodity Y. This point in the two-dimensional space represented by the xy plane represents a commodity bundle. It represents the x1 amount of commodity x and y1 amount of commodity y. Similarly, this, um, this uh, combination of goods, say x1, comma y1, gives the consumer some amount of utility from consuming these two commodities. Let's call that u1. So, U1 is the utility received from consumption of these two commodity bundles, X1, Y1. This value of utility is specific to the amount of uh, commodities consumed. So, for X1 amount of good X being consumed with Y1 amount of good Y, U1 is the amount of utility received by a particular consumer. Now, let's say the consumer is interested in also consuming a different commodity bundle. Let's say the consumer is also interested in consuming X2 amount of, an, uh, of the same commodity bundle. So, let's say uh, this uh, was apples and this was oranges. So, initially, the consumer was, uh, let's say, consuming two units. So, let's say the consumer was willing to take two units of apples. So, let's call this A and let's call this oranges. Don't confuse this O with this O. This is just simply a representation of a commodity that helps visualize what we are trying to do. Let's say I am talking about two oranges uh, or two apples and let's say I am talking about three oranges, right? So, two apples, three oranges. If I want to mark that, uh, I would essentially talk about this combination, right? This combination. To make things less clumsy, I am just keeping it this way. Now, uh, thing is, I can uh, consume different amounts of commodity bundles. So, once I am consuming two units of apples and three units of oranges, if I want, I can consume a different amount of this uh, two commodities. I can consume, let's say, three units of apples and let's say I want to consume one unit of orange, right? I can do that. Of course, I can do that. Now, what happens is, if I see that these two commodity bundles give me the same amount of utility, if I see that these two commodity bundles, so what that essentially means is, if I think of the utility provided to me by the combination of two other goods, x2 and let's say this is y2, let's say this is y2. So, if I get x2 and y2 as my other combination bundle or my commodity bundle and if I see that these two utilities uh, these two utilities provided to me by the two different commodity bundles are same then I say that these two are indifferent to each other and I get an indifference curve right this is the concept of indifference curve note that here though we are taking two different goods the individual itself is same the individual can consume this commodity bundle which represents y1 and x1 amount of the two goods and it can also consume an alternative commodity bundle which contains x2 units of commodity x and y2 units of commodity y. So, this entire diagram is representative of only one consumer. It does not, however, consider other individuals. It considers two commodities but only one individual. Now, what happens if I want to consider another individual? 
that is when we bring in the concept of comod that is when we bring in essentially the concept of edgeworth box so what essentially is edgeworth box an edgeworth box is essentially two sets of indifference curve diagrams so we have an or uh, we have our normal usual indifference curve axis on this set let's say we call two individuals so we have two individuals individual a and individual b so we have two individuals and we have two goods x and y so we have two individuals a and b and we have two commodity bundles x and y note that initially we were only talking about one individual as i mentioned this diagram represents only one individual but now in case of edgeworth box diagram we'll be considering two individual but then the question arises here our origin is actually the origin of the eighth individual basically it's the origin of one individual see this amount is what one individual is buying this is what one individual is buying of good y this is what one individual the same individual is buying of good x but then why do i mention the other individual so essentially if i want to draw let's say i want to draw the first individual so i want to draw the first individual and then i'll have to draw the next individual so let's start with the first origin let's start with the first origin i call this origin oa i call this origin oa and i say this represents the amount of commodity x consumed by individual a and i say this represents the amount of commodity y again consumed by individual a so this is x a this is y a and this is origin of the individual a this part up until what we have done up until now this part is our usual indifference curve this part is our usual diagram our usual axis and we'll be drawing normal indifference curves let's say i want to represent this individual by red so i would have indifference curves like this i would have indifference curves like this i would have a lower indifference curve i would have a higher indifference curve these would be my indifference curves they represent different amounts of utility so let's say we have u1 we have u2 we have u3 and we have u4 so we have just for representation we have four utility curves or we have four indifference curves where if we consider x x and y to be both normal goods then we can say that the uh, utility increases in this direction right this is standard utility concept so utility increases in this direction now i want to represent another individual i want to represent the second individual b and i would like to represent it in the blue color what i do now is this was my origin for the a individual this was my origin for individual a i take the origin of b individual on the opposite side on the opposite corner of another uh, individual of the, of this box and what i do is i draw a curve I, I i draw two lines like this now what essentially is this about we represent that through another diagram let's say if we were to draw the normal individual if we were to draw the normal individual uh, indifference curves for individual b what would we have it like we would have two axes like this we would have an origin for individual b we would have an origin ob for individual b this axis would have represented xb which would have been the amount of the, the amount of commodity x bought by individual b this would have been the amount of commodity y brought by bought by individual b and these would be my indifference curves pretty simple are obvious indifference curve analysis these would represent u1 u2 u3 and u4 the basic representative indifference curves for individual b right now what i'm interested to do is i want this diagram and this red diagram to be in the same diagram here we have two different diagrams right i want them juxtaposed on each other i want them superimposed on each other but if i do this if, if i just simply pick this diagram up and if i paste it over here so what i want to say is if let's say uh, let's say i want to copy this diagram so i am copying this diagram i copy this diagram and i want to paste it over here i want to paste it over here so i get a diagram like this 
and I end up doing something like this. The problem with that is the same axis represents xA and xB. So the same axis represents amount of individual, uh, amount of commodity x represented uh, bought by uh, individual A and the amount of commodity x bought by individual B. The same origin represents the origin for individual A and individual B, which means I'll have to plot two things on each axis. I'll have to plot xA and xB on this axis and I'll have to plot yA and yB on this axis. That makes life difficult because we'll have to use different colors just the way I have drawn here, right? It would have to be something like this. That would make life really difficult. So what we can do is instead of simply copying it and pasting it over here, what I do is I shift this. So I rotate this. Now what do I mean by rotating this? Uh, essentially what I do is I simply rotate this diagram uh, like this. So instead of drawing it this way, I flip it this way and I flip it this way. So it's just this line becomes like this this line OB XB OB XB becomes this axis so this is my new OB axis and this is my YB axis so what I do is essentially if I flip my computer screen upside down right if I if I flip my up, uh, computer screen upside down that is if I rotate this diagram 180 degree right correct 180 degree so if I rotate this diagram 180 degree in this direction what I get is this OB comes over here this OB comes over here, this XB comes over here, this XB comes over here, this YB goes down here, this YB goes down here and these indifference curves are reversed. These indifference curves are reversed in direction. So our indifference curves are now like this. So what I essentially do is, if I think of it this way, let's, let's think of it this way. I have a box, I have a box, one, two three four when i say i rotate it by 180 degree i mean this corner goes here this corner goes here this corner goes here and this corner comes here what happens is essentially this if i uh, think of it this way let's say i flip it once so essentially the next time i'll get four comes here 2, 1 comes here, 2 comes here, 3 comes here. This is 90 degree rotation because I am just flipping it once. Then I flip it again. I flip it again. So I get 4 comes here, 1 comes here, 2 comes here, 3 comes here. Right? So I am doing a 90 degree flipping here and I am doing a 90 degree flipping here. Now do you notice that 1 comes just on the opposite side, 3 goes to the opposite side, 4 goes to the opposite side and 2 comes to the opposite side. The same thing I have, I have done here, I essentially flip it 180 degree. I do it once by 90 degree and I do it again by 90 degree. Then I receive this diagram. This diagram now gets superimposed on the other red diagram for the red individual or for the A individual. So now what I do is, I copy this diagram. So I copy this diagram. I can copy this diagram here. I have this diagram over here. I copy this diagram and I paste it over here. So I have that diagram and I paste it over here. Right? I have a sort a diagram of this sort and if I want to draw it clearly instead of just copying it from computer, what I'll have is I'll have blue because I took the color blue for individual B. So I'll have the origin of individual B over here. You can just uh, slow down the video and go a couple of seconds uh, past this point and check that OB will lie on this point. This direction will represent the uh, consumption of commodity B by individual Y, sorry, by individual Y. No, sorry, right. X represents the commodities and B represents the individual. So XB will represent the commodity X by individual B. As you remember, we had XB over here and it just goes to the opposite direction as we just found out here. So 3 is now at the top and 1 is now at the bottom. So 2 was two is now on this side. So initially my 2 was on this side, YB. 
instead now yb will be measured on this axis but do note that yb is measured in the downward direction because my origin essentially i was measuring things on this direction right yb was initially measured in this direction so everything gets switched so now yb is measured in this direction xb is measured in this direction however ya is measured in this direction and xa is measured in this direction note that as if you are looking at individual a when you have kept your eye from this side and when you look at individual b it's as if your eye is here and you are what viewing this entire world from this direction so your indifference curves will be like this these are not a uh, bad commodity bad commodity individual curves that we had done i'll link down the concept of bad commodities and the individual curves that look like this somewhere up over here but that is not the same case here we have just shifted the uh, entire diagram 180 degree which is why it looks like this but these are our usual indifference curves u1 will be this diagram because as we knew earlier u1 was the one which was closest to the origin right u1 is closest to the origin so here since we are talking about the origin of individual b we'll have u1 closest to the origin of individual b then we'll have u2 then we'll have u3 and finally we'll have u4 and the in the utility will increase in this direction this representation of the indi indifference curve for two individuals together in a single diagram is called the edgeworth box so this is a box and this uh, this diagram is called the edgeworth box if you have any questions regarding this topic that we have done today feel free to comment in the comment section uh, write down your doubts in the comment sections below if you found this video to be useful then please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel you can also share these videos with your friends or students or anybody you think might uh, help from these videos comment if you have any doubts as i've mentioned and uh, do post recommendations for future videos follow me on my instagram account which i'll be linking in the description box below till then stay well stay blessed and happy learning